your customer or how to think about the business or your own responsibility and, you know, as a staff of the company. They don't know you. And they don't ask you to copy. It's very funny. You know, in other words, you have to find out a way how to copy those things. And if you copy well, then you go up. I really wanted to do something that was in the ladies' business. But I also realized one thing. I don't understand ladies' products because I'm not a lady. If you don't understand the product and love the product, it's very hard to convince your customer to, to, to buy it. So for example, if, if you gave me a job today selling cosmetics or ladies' stockings, I would do a very horrible job because I could not explain the passion or, or the magic of, of that product to a woman, at least convincingly. Unless I wore it, of course, but... To be an entrepreneur, to establish your own business, to know how to differentiate your company, your product and service, is, is very important. You might not even need to be the, the, the although I'm trying to be trendy on the design of the service, but you, you might not need to be the, 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 the trendiest, you know. And more important is to, to be different. If you be trendy makes you different, then you, you want to be trendy for, for, for the product and service that you're providing. So I think that's um, something about me and the business that we share. I think one has to be very precise. And I don't think it can be more precise because you know, or as a designer, you really should know what you want and don't want. What I'm saying is, you know, you better know your business well before you go into it, or at least you believe that you know very well. <laughs>